Hello everybody, this is William Morris, or Gamer Bill, back with the Brotherhood of Gaming, here to talk to you about an update that uh, usually doesn't happen a whole lot, especially with what I'm about to talk about, and if you've already seen the title, you know what that is. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is getting a remaster, or remake, and you know what? This has me more excited than I thought I would have been. Because, uh, you see, going back through my history, I've never considered myself a part of skate culture. Now, I did definitely grow up in the times back when its popularity was at its probable all-time high, and honestly, in my opinion, I think where it peaked. But, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater has been one of those games that has sort of been a part of my childhood, but in a very loose way, because I never owned any of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. It was always whenever I went to a friend's house or a family member's house that I got to experience the games uh, firsthand, usually because I had time to kill and there was probably nothing else to play. And it was those experiences that give me my nostalgic memories with the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series. And even though I know the series has kind of gone somewhat downhill over the years, over the decades, depending on who you ask, one thing has always remained true. The original Tony Hawk games, at least going, I'd say, as far as probably underground, are usually considered really good. And considering the time period that we live in right now, where remakes are all the rage, I mean, come on, we got the Crash Bandicoot trilogy remake, we got the Spyro the Dragon Reignited trilogy, remakes are all around us. Resident Evil 3, Final Fantasy 7, Resident Evil 2, I'm sure th there's a lot more coming. Um... But one thing that I was thinking about for the past, I'd say, better half of almost two years now, and actually, you want to know what's interesting, is going back for the past two years, I had been somewhat inspired to be a little bit more in the know when it comes to skateboarding. I, I don't know why this happened, if I'm having an early midlife crisis or something, being in my 30s now. Uh... Skateboarding was not something that I generally liked to do as a kid. I mean, I tried it, and it was a whole day of falling on my person and getting cut up and scars everywhere, and I think that was enough to clue me in that mm, skateboarding might not be in my future, so I put down the board. But now that I'm in my 30s, it, it does feel like since it was something that was part of my youth and it was at its all-time high, I feel like it's something I probably should have gave a second chance, so who knows, maybe now that I'm in my 30s and, well, Tony Hawk says that it doesn't matter what age you are, you can start skating. You know, I don't think it's ever too late to start, and it's a great way of exercise, so, uh, good luck. So, who knows, I might give it a shot. If you never hear from me again, you know why. So, the fact that we're now seeing all of this other stuff going on with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, it, it just feels like the time is right, and what's crazy about this is, I predicted Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 getting remasters. I know, it, considering today, it's probably not that hard to imagine that these games were going to get remade eventually, but I swear it was the better for the better half of two years, I was saying, you know, it really is a matter of time that they're going to announce full-on HD remaster or remakes of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1, 2, and I was predicting 3, because it, it seemed like they always come in 3s. But you know, I was, for the most part, right. I mean, we are getting Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, and we the, you know, the official trailer dropped a few days ago, and from what I saw, it looks pretty damn good. Now, of course, some of the first things that we were going to worry about when it comes to a remake like this is, like, you know how the Tony Hawk games work. It's always got some amazing licensed tracks that were usually pop at the, popular at the time, but uh, <laughs> licenses expire and copyrights being what they are it did kind of make me wonder so are all of the musical tracks that the fans know and love going to return and i don't think that's the case i'm pretty sure a good amount of them are but uh from what i have heard there's going to be a, a handful that aren't going to make the cut and from what i've also seen is something that is predictable is skateboarding is not something that just is what it is if you know if that makes any sense it's something that's always growing new tricks are always being learned uh people are always doing new and interesting things with skateboarding so one thing i guess people were bringing up was this were these remakes going to be a one-to-one -one remake of the original games or were they going to make some 
what some fans would probably say are necessary updates. And I think they are based on what I've already heard is that in the remakes of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, they're incorporating some skateboarding moves that were not featured in those games, but they were featured in later games. So it's possible that we are going to see not just uh, moves that were incorporated in later Tony Hawk's games, but we might see a brand new move list entire, uh, entirely of tricks that can be done. However, from, again, everything that I've been hearing is that I think they're going to be using uh, the source codes from the original games so that while you are playing HD remakes of uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, you are, the for, the for the most part, going to feel like you're playing the originals. And I think that's what was truly important, is that while we do enjoy graphical updates in our remakes, if it doesn't feel like the original game, it really is just a shell of a... It really is kind of a mere shell of its former self. It doesn't feel right. And that's truly what is most important about any remake, I say, is that you got to get the feel right. I mean, graphics and all that is fun, but if it doesn't feel like the original game, then what's the point? You know what I mean? So the fact that they are taking their time and effort with uh, the remakes of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is actually pretty cool. And I find myself in a very odd position that I give a damn about this because, again... I never owned any of the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games. I, I own them now, but even then, it was just kind of something that I played casually, and I never considered myself any good at it, but I, I'd like to think I've gotten okay. Um, so, yeah, to my surprise, I was more excited about this than I thought I would be. And <laughs> coming from a... T and this is coming from uh, me, and again, this is surprising to me, because back go back 20 years ago, I would have been like skateboarding games i mean why would you i was kind of a, i admit i was a little jaded because it sports games in general for me are always like a why would you bother i mean you can go outside and play real sports why would you want to dedicate a lot of time to getting good at a video game of a sport when you can get good at the real thing um but you know, there is something to be said there is enjoyment to be had so don't hate me don't don't leave mean comments i get it uh <laughs> Uh, but I will say that the marketing and repackaging the same game over and over every year and selling it to players as if it's, as if it's something brand new, that I have a problem with, and I stand true that, yeah, Madden sucks for that. Uh, but, hey, I, I, I really can't hate on Tony Hawk or the games. And, uh, like, Tony Hawk, I, it, to me, is a big inspiration. I mean, he he's a really cool dude. Uh, so, yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 HD remakes. Uh, one thing I also wanted to talk about is that this technically isn't the first time Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, I think, got a remake. I believe it was a handful of years ago, back in 2012. I'm not sure what console was for, if it was for phones or if it was for the current systems at the time uh, on the PlayStation networks and such, that uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 did sort of get remakes, but uh, to my knowledge, they weren't very well received for one reason or another. I wasn't really paying attention to it at the time. Uh, so it feels like they're getting a second try here. Now, the game is scheduled to be released, I believe, on September 4th. Uh, now, the last thing I wanted to mention is, or discuss, was the price. Do you think it, that this is going to be the price of a full game? I know we had Resident Evil 3 Remake, which is a game that is not very long. You can beat it under two hours. If you're really good, you can beat it under one hour, which is pretty pathetic when it comes to game like that. And I know it's... It's not the it's it's quality over quantity. I mean, if it's a really good game and it's got replay value, it doesn't matter how long it is. Yes, I think it does. If you have a game that you can beat in an hour, despite how much replay value you can get out of it, that's pretty pathetic to be charging full price sixty plus dollars for it. So let me know in the comments. Do you guys think that Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two Remaster are going to be the price of a full game sixty plus dollars? Or do you think it's better that they're probably going to go for what we know is the standard for remakes and of that of the older game variety, and it's going to hit probably the $29.99, $30 mark? Be sure to let me know in the comments. I'm eager to hear your ideas. In fact, why stop there? Tell me more of, uh, in the comments. Do you guys have any memories of skateboarding? Have you guys skateboarded with friends in the past? Have you uh, had some bodied moments, or did you bail a lot? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your skateboarding stories. Let's get let, let's go 90s. Let's talk skateboarding again. Let's bring it back. Uh, so, yes, uh, coming from a non-skateboarder fan who grew up around skate culture, but not necessarily in it, to me, this is pretty exciting, and it hits me in a nostalgia moan in a weird way, because, yeah, I experienced the Tony Hawk uh, games, and I always admired the men from afar, 
but it was something that I feel I'm now just starting to dive into for myself. So who knows, maybe in sometime in the future you might see some reviews of the Tony Hawk games here on the Brotherhood of Gaming channel. I'm not guaranteeing that, but uh, you know, anything's possible, so who knows. Anyway, I am excited for these remakes. I, it was bound to happen. I predicted that they were coming and I couldn't be happy for you. So if the, you Tony Hawk fans are out there are starving for a new skate game experience uh, that reminds you of the good old days, and then I say in this coming September, you've got something to look forward to. I'll probably give the game a try myself, assuming the price tag isn't the full price. I don't see myself picking up this game for the full price tag of, of 60 plus dollars. But if it is the price of, say, 22 or 30, then who knows? You might see me on the online uh, playground that the game has uh, been boasting. It's got, it's got the online features, it's got the online playground, so who knows? You might see me on there playing with you guys. I may not go out there and skateboard in real life or be any good at it. Who knows? I might. But, yeah, <laughs> at least on the video game land, I can't get hurt. So, again, let me know in the, guy, uh, in the comments below, guys, what you think. Meanwhile, you can subscribe and be sure to click on that notification bell uh, below to get updates for any further videos that we come uh, uh, to make. And uh, you can support us in a number of ways by, sub well, again, subscribing, watching more of our videos, and keeping up with us uh, via our social media, such as Twitters, and all of that st good stuff. Anyway, guys, William Morris here. We'll see you on the next video.